In today's video, we're going to talk about the difference between a character's goals and their needs. This video is part of a series on how to write your idea from concept to first draft. Now, I'll link the previous lesson above me, which, will, which is on timeline. Now, if you're not following my step-by-step -step guide, writers need to understand the difference between what a character's goals and what their needs are because it has a huge impact on the story structure. Now, at this certain point in your writing, I'm assuming that you have laid out some sort of timeline, and I've put the link earlier in the video here if you need to figure out how to do a timeline for your script. So what we're doing now is looking at your main character who is, who, um, is the thread throughout all of your events of your script. So the first thing we need to determine, though, is, is, is the main character the hero of the story? Paul, you might be saying, what semantics are you trying to pull off here? Now, believe it or not, heroes are not always the protagonists of the stories. So let's take a look at, at some definitions really quick um, that I'm taking from Fast Screenplay. If you're looking for a great screenwriting uh, screen, screenplay program uh, that will help you walk you through the different steps on how to create a wonderful screenplay, I invite you to uh, look at the link in the below for Fast Screenplay. It's not an affiliate link. I just have gone through the program and I've really enjoyed it. If you really want an in-depth and wonderful but expensive program, take a look at Fast Screenplay. Well, Jeff from Flash Screenplay um, says there's three ways that we can identify a character. We can identify them as the protagonist. And now the protagonist is a character whose pursuit of their goal creates the twists and turns of the story, the character whose actions determine the plot. Now the main character is the character that the audience empathizes with and experiences the story through. This is the character who changes in some way. Now the last one is Hero, which a lot of us associate, which is the character that serves both of these prior functions as protagonist and the main character simultaneously, a character whose actions determine the plot and through whom we experience the story. Now the most often quoted film example where both of the main character and the protagonist are present in two separate characters is in the Shawshank Redemption, where Tim Robbins' character Andy, uh, his actions drives the plot, while Morgan Freeman's character Red is the one we empathize with and is the one who grows during the movie. With all this being said though, the most movies center around just a common hero or heroine. So we figured out who our central character in your script is now and how they're going to serve the plot. Now we're going to turn and look at what is a goal. If you remember, we have a very simple lesson on goals earlier and you can find that video in the link above here. As we think about goals for today, we need to realize that we need to make whatever our character is going after or their goal, it needs to be tangible. We need to make it tangible because we are a visual media. We need to see the character get to that goal. The goal also needs to be external. The goal is going to drive the story forward. So an example of a goal would be an, like from the movie Inception of putting the idea to break up his father's company into Robert Fisher's mind. Or if you're looking at The Princess Bride, the goal is to save the princess. Something, exter something external to the character. We can see it and it drives our character forward to attain it. Now let's look at need. Needs are internal. It's something that your character needs to learn so they can grow or change. A need reflects the theme of your story, which we touched on in this lesson here. Now using one of our favorite Disney fairy tales, Cinderella's goal is to marry the prince, but her need is to feel loved. And one way you can showcase a need is by giving your character a flaw that they must overcome during the course of your screenplay um, something like maybe if they're timid, if they're shy, or if they get too angry, or if they have too many outbursts, um, or if they're not sure of themselves. These are all different things that character flaws that they can try to overcome. Now, do you sort of see the difference between needs and goals? Goals, again, are external, needs are internal, and they both play important pieces in your script. Now, utilizing um, goals and needs will lead to four different types of endings. So the first ending is called a happy ending, which I think all of us know about and have seen. These are pretty, pretty much your, your typical Hollywood ending. And if we're using our example from Cinderella, this is where the hero gets both their goal and their need. So in this case, Cinderella marries the prince and lives happily ever after. The next one is tragic ending, where this is where the hero gets neither her goal or her need. Uh, in this case, we can say both Cinderella and the prince were assassinated by the uh, jealous uh, stepsisters. Our next ending is the ironic ending, where the hero gets his need, but not his gold. Cinderella realizes, realizes that the prince is really a toad, leaves him, and marries somebody different, and lives happily ever after. And then the next ending is a moral ending, where the hero gets their goal, but not their need. Cinderella, mar Cinderella marries the prince, realizes he's really a toad, and is still unhappy as she was at the start of the movie. 
So those are the four different types of endings that you can have based on goals and needs. So our, for our writing exercise today, it's a, it's a multi-part exercise. Uh, one of the first things I want you to do is to lay out what kind of character do you have? Is it a protagonist? Is it a main character? Is it a hero? Then I want you to lay out their goals and needs for this particular character. And then finally, I want you to think about the story in terms of what type of ending works best for you and the themes and the story that you're creating. And I, the one interesting way to do this is write about each of the different endings, those four different endings I gave you, the happy, the tragic, the ironic, and the moral ending and see which ones you like and which ones you don't like. See which ones fit the best. Now, if you have any haha -ha moments, please put them in the comments section below, or if you have any other questions, do that as well. Well, hi, if we're meeting for the first time, my fellow screenwriters enthusiasts, my name is Paul, I'm from Small Town Movie Critic. If you're new to the channel, we're all helping you about write, writing that kick-ass screenplay by giving you tips, tools, inspiration, and you know what, product reviews. If you feel like this is the type of content that would be good for helping with your screenwriting endeavors, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button below. And as we do each and every week, I'd like to welcome all of our new subscribers. Thank you for walking with me through our collective screenwriting journeys. This week, I'd like to welcome Ram, and I'll put your last name up there, and Ben Mitchell, what I'll put over here. I wish you luck in your future writing and filmmaking endeavors. I just had some exciting news today. One of the reasons why this video is going to probably be out a little later is I just got my uh, a, a working copy of Dagon back, which is my audio drama. It's almost done. I said that in the last week, but this one, it's it's they gave me. I, they're just going to go through the final uh, sound editing with it, so it sounds really good. Um, I'm really excited for it, and I'm going to put that up um, maybe next Monday. Um, we'll see how far they get with that, but it's really, really close. The sound effects sound great. Really excited for this, really pumped. So I can't wait to share it with you guys. Now my hope for you this week is that your writing goes well or your rewriting grows well. I hope you're able to have some time or you carve out some time so you can work on your next kick-ass screenplay because only you can make that next blockbuster that will help other people fall in love with storytelling like we do. Until the next video, keep writing and have a blessed day.